Hey everyone, I'm Steve Brown with It's My Railroad and sometimes I get sidetracked. Hey, welcome to Sidetrack. This is the place we keep the stuff that doesn't exactly fit in with one of our project builds, but we want to share with you anyway. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and then don't forget to push that little bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. Uh, you may have noticed already that we're not in the studio surrounded by the Brownsmith Railroad. No, in fact, we are headed southbound on the freeway right now towards a city called San Ysidro, California. San Ysidro sits right on the U.S.-Mexican border. And the reason I'm going there is because there is a railroad border crossing there that is sort of intrigues me. And I would like to take a shot at modeling that scene as a diorama or something. But ultimately, uh, if I did model that, it's gonna be part of a much bigger layout I have in mind that would include the border crossing, the port of San Diego, there's a yard in San Diego, a lot of auto racks, a lot of containers move through there, uh, all the way up to an interchange yard in Oceanside, California. That interchange yard uh, hands off trains back and forth between the BNSF and then the San Diego and Inland Valley Railroad, as well as the Sun Pacific Railroad. Uh, very cool stuff, a lot of opportunities for modeling. And my thought would be to do it in like four foot sections, complete and bolt another one to it as we move forward. So anyway, I'm heading down there today to take some pictures, to take some video, to get sort of uh, record as many details as I can and I figure what the heck you guys might as well come with me because clearly you have nothing better to do than watch this little show so anyway uh, we're heading down there we'll be down there and I don't know about another hour or so so once we get there we'll check back in and see what we're doing well here we are at the Mexican border um, behind me is the border behind me is the border crossing I was talking about I'm afraid to get too close to it because uh, Homeland Security's back there and I don't know. The really cool thing is off in the distance I see a uh, locomotive. Looks like we're doing some switching operations back there. Maybe we're gonna get lucky and the uh, train will come down this way. But for now what I think I'll do is I'll just sort of pan around, show you guys kind of the mountain that's over here and the structure and, and as much of that gate back there as we can get a hold of. I'm not really sure what this building is for. Uh, there's not really anybody to ask, but it's kind of neat with the, uh, it's got rusted out corrugated siding, a loading dock there, and then way back there in the back we got this flat car just sort of sitting there, some rails on it it looks like, and here's the other side of it, as much as we can see without getting too close. I think if we do end up modeling this, what we'll do is, uh, Go ahead and include one of these border patrol vehicles right here. So there's the gate where the railroad tracks go through. It looks like it's a, like a double swinging gate, like a left and a right. And then it gets a chain link fence back there with barbed wire on top of it. Over here you see we got, this is like a little, uh, little guard shack back there. I'll get you a better view of it in just a second. Up here we've got an inspection platform that uh, would be kind of cool to add to the model, I think. And if we want to get really crazy, we can go ahead and include this cell tower too, right here. You can see the tracks that come away from the gate. This is one siding right in front of us. It doesn't look like it gets used other than to store that flat car. And then there's this road crossing right here. And then of course all the way down to there. So you can see the dirt all built up on these rails. Um, the ballast is just shot. Yeah, I guess this isn't well maintained by any stretch of the imagination. But we're looking here at one, two, three, four, like four turnouts that we can see here. Um, I know from being here previously, down further, there's like a runaround for trains switching up this way. And way out there, I still see that train switching cars. I just know how to get down there. 
without getting arrested or something. I think another feature that's gonna be kind of fun, um, especially since this is, you know, module's gonna be two feet deep by four feet wide. I think this hillside, this little hillside here with the broken up chain link at the top and the pine trees, palm trees, uh, looks pretty good. You got the erosion there, and it just sort of leads off to this bump that you see down there. It just sort of stops just ahead of the uh, security guard, border patrol guys trailer. So anyway, from my uh, vantage point, this is the Mexican border right here. There's all the people getting into the U.S. Mexican border, or Mexico's on the left, the U.S. is on the right. Otherwise, I'd be standing in Mexico right now. Um, I don't know how much of this can be factored into the model. It would sit out pretty far from the backdrop, but you know, if we get it recorded, then we can make up our minds on what we want to do later. And we got some signs here on the uh, gate, some warning signs. I don't know if that's something we can reproduce or not, but we can give that a shot. So we've got this fence here. I presume is right near the border and it leads over to barbed wire fence in the back and the gate there and of course this building we've been looking at that's the train I keep here and I wish you'd come all the way down here That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? I've never seen that color scheme on a locomotive. But the way this works is there's uh, products that come up from Mexico and get handed off here, and then from here they go off to Escondido, they go off to Corona, California. I've seen the trains up there that come from here, so um, they move quite a bit. They've got tanker cars rolling through here, hoppers. Well, he's still coming this way. I. Uh, I can't say that we're gonna push this across the border, but wouldn't that be awesome? Da! Ah, he stopped. Let's go across the border. Uh-oh. Uh Two guys got out. One of them's carrying a stick. Two of them are carrying sticks. I think I'm in trouble. Let's see what happens. You guys aren't going across by chance, are you? Right now? Awesome, thank you. All right, so those two chaps that were just walking by here were not here to arrest me. They're here to tell me that this train is going across the border, people. This is awesome. Well, Border Patrol kicked me out. So they said I could watch, but I can't record. All right, so I don't know how much of that you guys saw, but um, I was uh, doing my video thing there and the old Border Patrol pulled up and they asked what I was doing there. And uh, it was a, a woman and a, a man in the front seat of the vehicle. And I walked over there and I said, uh, yeah, I'm just videoing this border crossing. I'm really interested in this border crossing. I, maybe not the right thing to say. Anyway, I said, uh, I'm a model railroader and I, I'm going to build a model of this border crossing. So I just wanted to kind of see how it works. Then the lady goes, you're a model railroader. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I wasn't feeling the model railroader love there. But anyway, uh, so they told me I had to put the camera away because the Mexican government doesn't want us videotaping. Um, there are people running out of the country. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I just thought that was hilarious. I didn't laugh in front of the uh, Border Patrol though, but I thought that was pretty funny. So anyway, 
Uh, so I put the camera away, but they said I could stand there and watch, and it was pretty cool to watch. The locomotive that went by was a Mexican locomotive. It said something like, your freight moving, or something in Spanish on the side. And uh, what he was pulling in was, there was a couple of rusted out old box cars, and a whole bunch of tanker cars for uh, a liquid uh, natural gas, liquefied, motorized natural gas. And uh, one load of lumber, which I thought was interesting because uh, through that border, they export a lot of lumber up here to the old United States of America. So anyway, it's fun to watch it go by. Another uh, couple observations. One, the locomotive was just as clean as you can get. Matter of fact, around here in Southern California, I don't often see filthy locomotives <laughs> except for UP locomotives. They're dirty. Uh, the BNSF stuff is all shiny and squeaky clean and so is this Mexican locomotive. Um, and also, the way it worked was apparently the little dudes that told me that they were getting ready to cross were Mexicans. Uh, they went over there and those front two gates you saw slide open like this and then I saw behind there about 20 feet further back there was two red gates and they kind of open like this. Ah, the Mexicans do it differently than the United States of Americans. So anyway, um, we're heading north because <laughs> that was our big journey down to the border. But anyway, um, hey, so listen, this is the kind of stuff we do here on Sidetrack Dance My Railroad. So again, if you haven't subscribed, why don't you do that? And then uh, make sure you like and share this video with somebody. And uh, don't forget to join up with us on Facebook. And until next time, my name is Steve Brown. Rail on, my friends.